What's up everybody, Chris Gethin here. Now I'm gonna put you through an ab circuit that you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. However, if you do have something that would add as a little bit of resistance, that would be phenomenal. And if you've got like a broom handle or piece of tubing, even better. Now I'm gonna use a ball here as my resistance, but you can use a kit bag, anything like that. I'm also sat on top of a little bit of a sponge mat, whatever you call it here, just to elevate my hips a little bit so I can get a further stretch when I'm going down to the bottom of the movement. So you can just fold a couple of towels and place them underneath your butt, okay? So I'm gonna do a circuit, meaning I'm gonna go back to back with exercises for both my upper abs, my obliques, and my lower abs. And I'll talk you through some of those exercises as I demonstrate them. Now, don't worry about the repetitions here. I want you to train to absolute failure on every single repetition, okay? And then you're immediately gonna move, go into the next movement once you've reached that failure point and the same and so on and so forth once you've reached failure. And once we go through all the exercises, which I'll demonstrate here, you rest for about a minute and then you repeat again, okay? So first of all, grab your broom handle or whatever you have here and you're gonna do a full sit up here. So you're gonna come up and that broom handle is gonna come overhead like that to get full resistance. Now the second time you come up, you're gonna twist slightly to hit the obliques and then the other side and then back to middle. Breathe out on the way up. If you can't do a full sit up like this, you can put your feet under something just so you can use it as a little bit of leverage. Once you've reached failure point there, you're gonna grab hold of your bag or your resistance, whatever you have, and you're gonna do some crunches like so. So you're trying to close the distance between your stern sternum and your pelvis. Once you've reached failure there, you're gonna keep hold of this, but now what you're gonna do is bring your legs up and your hands up at the same time until this resistance goes over your knees. You're gonna stretch out, don't let your feet or the resistance touch the floor and back up. Now once failure is finished there, oops, now you're gonna bring your shoulder towards your opposite knee. You're gonna go across and then back down and then back up to the side that you just came down upon, then across and down, so like this. Once failure is reached there, now you're gonna get rid of the mat because you're gonna bring your lower abs into it a little bit more. You're gonna isolate your lower abs and you wanna make it harder by taking that extension down further, okay? So now, put your hands behind your head. You're gonna come up and pulse up and down. and you'll really feel that in your lower abs. Now the final exercise that we're gonna do is again for your lower abs, except it's gonna be more of a static hold. So you're gonna hold your arms out like that and your legs out the same, but feet just off the floor and you're gonna pulse those legs slowly. And you're gonna do that as long as you can until you've got no choice but to collapse your feet on the floor. Keep those legs straight. Ah. 
Ah, whew. And that is it. So each circuit should take you about two minutes. You're gonna repeat that circuit three times. So your abs, your abs under resistance will be completely cooked in eight minutes. If you're taking a minute rest between each excess, each circuit, it'll take you about 11 minutes in total. But it's an eight minute circuit under resistance where you will completely obliterate your abs and get them ready in shape for summer. Peace.